So today I'm doing a video all about Yardley perfumes in celebration of their two new releases um, because they have their 250th year anniversary. So I'll give you a little bit of a history about the brand and give you my review first impressions of their two new anniversary fragrances. If you're new here then hello and welcome. We are all about perfumes here so do check out my hundreds of other perfume videos and if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And as always I'll leave links down below to where you can get these. In the UK these are exclusive to the perfume shop. I'll leave the links down below. So Yardley is definitely a well-known name for their soaps and their fragrances. Um, 250 years, I think, to people over in America will sound like a really long time. Um, obviously here in the UK we have businesses that have been around for thousands of years. Um, but when it comes to perfumery, it's definitely one of the oldest. They are a British brand and they are cruelty-free and vegan, which is really nice. So they actually started in 1770 with their lavender water and they um their fragrances were all inspired by like traditional british flowers like lavender things that grow in an english country garden they had an exhibit in the 1800s at the great Expo exhibition if you don't know what that is this was like a really important event in the victorian era in london um it was in hyde park and it was a massive i think glass um, building was built and basically a lot of very successful companies now exhibited at that exhibit back then. I have a feeling it was maybe Prince Albert's idea, I can't remember. They then started exporting to America once you guys decided to break up with us. And then in the 1900s they had a big sort of um, production factory in the east end of London, in Stratford. A lot of these industrial type buildings were over in Stratford area, which now is where the Olympic Park is. And then in the early 1900s, they had their um, shop in New Bond Street, um, which is kind of just off Oxford Street in the heart of London, a lot of famous brands there. And in the 1920s, they were appointed by the Prince of Wales as the perfumer and fine soap maker to the Prince of Wales, um, which is means they get a royal warrant and they can put that royal emblem sticker on all their products. In the 60s, Twiggy modelled for them. They had huge campaigns in the 90s. And then more recently, they have um, come up with some new lines, which are perhaps um, more modern English flowers, but they still do their classic lavender and other like classic soaps. Um, so people of like all ages can, um, I guess, find something. They're also incredibly affordable. They're not um, a designer price point at all. Like these new 100 mils are 25 pounds. So let's see what they smell like. So there's a man's and a woman. So this is the ladies one. It says celebrating 250 years and it's a really big heavy glass bottle it's described as having citrus top notes it has the classic lavender in and then a woody vanilla base now i've been wearing this today and it really reminded me of something straight away and i realized what it was it really reminds me of valentino's volce Voce Viva, the new one, the Lady Gaga one, it has that same soft vanilla and then white floral note in it, very similar. Um, I don't get much lavender, I don't really get much of the woody notes that are in here. I get the white florals and a bit of the vanilla. So this does obviously is quite a modern smell, you know, it smells just like the brand new Valentino, I think. In terms of lasting, it is an eau de parfum. I could smell this on myself for perhaps about two hours and then it started to disappear. But I guess for 25 pounds, like what more can you expect? But I think what's quite nice about the smell is that a young person could wear this or an older person can wear this, it's quite a universal, you know, floral vanilla smell. I noticed that they're trying to use as much naturally derived ingredients as possible, 90% natural derived ingredients, and the alcohol base is like a vegetable base alcohol. And what's actually really nice is these anniversary fragrances, they are donating 1.5% of total sales, net sales, to a um, national cancer support charity, Look Good, Feel Better, which helps people like 
face cancer and with confidence which I think is really nice for an anniversary bottle. So overall it's like not what I was expecting I was thinking oh it's gonna be all lavender or something especially with the purple packaging but it's not and it's a very universal smell I would happily wear this I like the smell of it so if you're thinking of Christmas presents coming up and um, the older generation do tend to know Yardley so if you get this for grandma for mum whatever then they're probably gonna know and recognize the brand which is always nice so we then have the men's one which comes in this nice deep navy color I love this color so again it's telling me this has lavender and woody notes Ooh. now on this one I do really get the lavender and I get the wood and I almost get a bit of a um, leathery type vibe it feels quite fresh there's quite a lot of citrus at first I think this would be good for a sort of work everyday type perfume where you want something fresh and manly it's not overly heavy it's not overly sort of sexy it reminds me of a, a yeah typical male smell typical citrus female smell but then you've got those woody male notes underneath so very classic again male smell I think any age could wear this it's not super modern it's not like it's definitely not old-fashioned smell it basically just smells like men <laughs> you can see why I don't do very many male perfume videos because a lot of them just smell like man to me <laughs> like I'm not as, I'm not as good with them but I think you know what I mean right um I think this again would be a perfect Christmas present for any age so that's it guys let me know if you want me to do a video on the other Yardley perfumes that they do um just let me know in the comments down below I do read all your comments but that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video